since early October we're joining Kumar and he was also our first member and one of AS event members and I've just been seeing all the photos and uh, that he's been catching so today we're actually joining him here at Minton 20 one of his spots he likes fishing uh, looking for some brusher and some uh, bronze bream so we'll give it a good shot and see what we can find morning Kumar and he sorted us out with breakfast that's uh, it feels like a holiday or a, a treat more than a, a fishing session, but that's always, eh? Yeah, that's true. Ah, oh, but thanks, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we reckon we're going to get some. Yeah, let's get Maybe. some. Maybe. Ronnie's got a packet, possibly. Oh, well, let's try it. We've got some bait. <laughs> Hi guys, look at that beautiful sunrise, early morning here at Mutu 20 with Kobaran bringing us out. Andre that uh, showed me how to catch bronze bream yesterday. I couldn't get one. And uh, I'm going for a brush here, so I'm just targeting that right now. I put half a Monster Man crab with a bit of crayfish on the side. Just a little combo bait to see if, if there's something around. Um, sometimes the pickers can climb into this quite quickly, so you have to change it, unless you've got a small Monster Man. Now what I'm using, you can see a 5 -oh hoodlum, mustard hoodlum, very strong hook, which I prefer for the brusher. And then I'm just using a 6 -oh bottle sinker, this is Maxima, 0.75 for the hook, and 0.50 -oh for the sinker line, should we get stuck. You just lose your sinker. And I'm fishing my medium heavy, grinder elite, my Saltiga 6.5, and I see Kumara's got his Saltiga. 4.5 yeah, he, and he's got his power spin which is adequate Andre is using my 12 foot 6 power spin with Saltiga 5000 and then the 11 6 power spin here with uh, 4000 so we'll switch to bronze bream a bit later and see if we can find but yeah I'm actually waiting for this man to be in the water man but let's have a throw Look at that, the colors on this fish, beautiful, bronze bream. And that's the game, 5 -oh hoodlum, look at this mouth on this thing, really nice size. And I got it on uh, my medium ever grinder lead. Come on and putting us into the fish quickly. <laughs> Let's get some photos. I'm going to put this in a pool quickly, so it doesn't chase the rest away and try for a brusher still. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to split this, it's a bit big. It's not the nicest way to put a crab on. But it will get the juices flowing. And then, what I'm going to do... I'll just crack the pincer. Even more juices. Now, a lot of times it's better to actually uh, rig this up with the line. So you, you thread your line right through and then only tie it to your swivel. But in this case, what I'm going to do I'm going to actually tie it with a bit of bait cotton and some grain. We were going to target the bronze bream a bit later. So that was an early surprise. I actually, to be 100% honest, I've never caught bronze bream so early in the morning. I never thought they'll be feeding now. And the nice thing about the latex as well, this very thin latex cotton, it's not as visible. But it will hold this whole contraption together for me. This time of the year, also here on, on the Natal South Coast, the brusher, on those very big ones, they're four kilos, but last week they were getting some seven, eight kilo ones here. Yeah? That's why we're here. Look for some bigger ones. 
Okay, that's it. I'm just gonna lob it. How's it guys? A uh, bit unfortunate there. I had a good fish on. I lost him here in the front of the rocks. My line, I was actually fishing a double hook says. So one of the hooks caught onto the rocks and uh, I couldn't get the fish out. After a while being stuck, uh, fish broke free. My face came back. Unfortunate, but uh, put another bait and get another one. Little it actually messed me around this one. Yeah. Didn't want to eat properly, but you just wait until they do. Guys, just just to show you, bent this hook open, that's how hard I pulled it to get it over that ledge. The whole thing is you mustn't allow it to play around that side because that's how you lose them, they get stuck. Especially if you use two hooks. But uh, using one hook as well. So you can see initially I pulled it very hard to just get it on top of the ledge and then I pulled it softer. But uh, bent the chin hook <laughs> just on our auto pull. So new trays. And that's why you pre-tie your traces. It's a chin hook too I'm using. And I'm using a particularly thin uh, hook snoot, a 0.44 um, Siglon. And, uh, a 0.42 sinker line then I use the corda anti tangles on the swivel because the line so thin it tangles quickly so the anti tangle actually really helps and then uh, a 10 mil kingfisher float and you use a toothpick to wedge in there so you can adjust it to where you want and it stays there obviously when you fight a fish or even uh, Sometimes just reeling in the float will move but you can just move it back to where you want it There we go Next trace ready You can see that yeah, that's obviously Very nice area for them to feed on on uh, high tide This is one of the high tide spots now now I know about I didn't know Kumaran brought us here And it works very well on the high tide yeah as as we've seen this morning with that first uh, really good size bronze bream I got, fishing for brusha. I allowed that to eat a long time before I, before I could feel it swallow the hook. That's what braid does, it allows you to actually feel a lot more than what you would on monofilament. So you're a lot more connected and uh, in contact with your bait and what's happening there. Now I like fishing a loop because we're fishing over, over rocks. I just fish a loop for my sinker and it also makes it quicker to to change to a heavier if your sinker is washing you just quickly change to a heavier sinker just slip a sinker on and off that trace will cut up and then the bait I was using now I was using half langoustine with a half bit of crayfish and that seemed to have done the trick Lango. And I'm going to take a bit of cray here. Got a bit of cleaning up here to do with all the shells and stuff here. And this I'll just open up a little bit. Hold it open. It's 
stick the cray on the back. It's a bit difficult working with cray and, and lango like that because it's not firm. It's almost like a chocker blob, eh? but will fall off the hook if you leave it. So you have to kind of use your hands to shape it into a sausage. That did the trick. Now, not only are the bronze beam shoaling a bit, the anglers are now shoaling on this spot. And look how ASFN is shoaling. There's five ASFN shirts, which is so awesome. Um, the guys supporting us and buying shirts from us. We've got Kamara in our first member. And uh, we've been, you know, I promised him in any case, being our first member, he has to be the first um, uh, member we take fishing. So we've been talking, 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 just missing each other. So I finally got it together this morning and we're fishing a bit. But that's what we'll be doing on a monthly basis uh, is inviting some of our members to go fishing. And uh, just have a good day together and see if we can find fish. That's the objective. This is a nice old fish, about that Milango. Lovely fish, little fish. Love the colors of this. Good fun, it's getting back. Alright, well, that's an enjoyable morning. I still think that was a cracker you lost there this morning. Yeah, unfortunate. unfortunate. On a bronze bream tray. <laughs> yeah, true, true. But Kumaran uh, this morning, I was fishing for, for Brasher and he actually, I think you hooked the one there. And then after that, one or two bronze bream got lost by the guys. But all in all, actually a great morning. It was a good eh? morning, very good morning. Uh, shocking and what they fed on. Uh, I see you got yours on uh, Lango and Greyfish. Yeah. And you also got the one on the Muscle Man Crab. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hooked something on a, on a prawn and cracker bait. So you're feeling quite nicely today. Yeah, and Andre got his on uh, red prawns. Yes, on red prawns. So, and also your brother got a nice pool he also on uh, Lango, oh, Lango. Lango only. Yes. So it was a nice variety of baits. The bronzies, I think if you're in the right spots with a, a decent bait, you got a pool. Uh, but yeah, good call. Yeah, good and thanks, call, man. Thanks a lot for the fishing. And then let this not be the, the last time. No, definitely. <laughs> we'll make more, we'll make more. Next uh, time we'll we get taking the We're taking up to the banks or yeah. up Richard's Bay soon. Definitely. definitely. Eh? Just the salt as well. He's got his uh, grind elite now, 15 foot, and he's got a shoal of Daiwa reels. <laughs> but um, now it's uh, getting a proper proper beast on that rod. True, eh? Definitely. We will definitely do that. But thanks, eh? Thanks, thanks for a great morning fishing. All the best.